All right, today I'm gonna talk about the get out gear, boofy blanket, boofy blanket. I love saying boofy blanket. So what is it? It is a down or synthetic down wearable blanket. Get out gear reached out to me, asked if I'd like to do a review. Full disclaimer, they gave me this blanket for free, but not being paid for this, so I'm gonna give my honest opinion about the product. I'll go through the specs, and then Tina and I, we've taken this thing out. We've had it for about five, six months now. So I'll go through our experiences using it over a pretty good amount of time. So the blanket is a number one bestseller on Amazon. It goes for just around $70 for the model I have. There's a couple of different models, varying prices. There's the double stuffed and the synthetic. I actually got an orange down filled blanket and the one I have goes for about $70. Honestly, I feel like that's a pretty good price point for something this versatile and of this good of quality. One neat thing about it is it comes with, with its own stuff sack. You put it in there, it's about five inches by 12 inches for the dimensions. It packs up pretty compact. I lost my stuff sack. It was a sad day. The website says the blanket, when it's laid out and fully puffed, it is 70 inches by 55. I measured mine and it's right around there. It's 75 by 51. The fabric that it's made out of is 20D ripstop nylon, also water repellent. I have not tested it with any kind of water or rain, but uh, it does say that it is water repellent. It's a down comforter. I mean, I, I wouldn't take it out in the rain unless you absolutely had to. The one I have I already mentioned, it's down filled. It's a 650 fill. So that's six is the lower end, 700 is a higher end. So it's a, it's a decent fill. They say it's rated to 45 degrees. And if you use it in conjunction with a sleeping bag, it will add another 15 degrees to the sleeping bag. So I've used it with a 30 degree, that brings that down to 15. I've used it with a 15, so it would bring that down to zero. Packed, uh, the blanket weighs 17 ounces according to the website. So really light, fairly compact, and good to be combined with a sleeping bag if you don't have a low enough rated bag. So as I said earlier, this is a wearable blanket, and that's really where it comes in that, that it's unique. It has these snaps along it. You snap those and you can wear it like a poncho. So my wife Tina and I, we took this blanket out on several trips, kind of put it through the paces, and what are my impressions? The quality is comparable with, we have Big Agnes sleeping bags and REI Co-op puffy jackets, which are, you know, they're higher end products. And its feel and quality build is comparable to those. The ripstop nylon is very durable. We've had it out several times, like I said, walked through cat claw, and similar types of plants in the desert. No rips, no loose threads, nothing. No, no damage to it, really. So it's good quality. The clasps, the buttons, they're plastic and they seem like they're cheap, but we have the Big Agnes sleeping bags and it, it, they use the exact same type of buttons. So had no issues with the Get Out Gear blankets. They're, they're a lot more durable than you would expect when you first look at them. The downside of them, they're kind of hard to snap and they're difficult to unsnap. We would find a lot of times we'd just snap it so that it was wearable as a poncho and then you just throw it on over your head. You don't wanna go through the process of buttoning and unbuttoning those buttons. A minor complaint, but it's worth noting. Now, my wife, she's, she's cold a lot when we go out on these trips. So this blanket has become a mainstay that we take, especially in our car camping trips. It's just something she could throw on and wear while she's sitting by the fire or around camp just to stay a little bit warmer. It works really well for that. When I go out solo in the winter, I'll actually take it along whether I'm car camping or backpacking and just combine it with my sleeping bag for that extra warmth, just in case, you know, I didn't bring enough layers. As long as I got the room, it's definitely worth it. I'm not gonna complain that, oh, I've got too many layers. I'm not going to freeze tonight. I live in the desert. I've acclimated to the warm weather, so I'm cold a lot also. So it always helps to have that extra warmth. Now, one thing that was really cool we went on a backpacking trip to Canyonlands, drove all the way there, camped the night before. Tina was actually wearing the blanket. And as we were packing for our three-day backpacking trip, where it was going to be in the 20s at night, she realized that she forgot her puffy jacket. She was able to use the Get Out Gear boofy blanket, love saying boofy blanket, and wear it like a coat. It really saved the trip because there's no way we could have made it without that down layer when it got that cold at night. So what do I not like about it? The buttons, I already mentioned that. 
it does have a tendency to touch the ground. It can drag on the ground. If you bend over to pick something up and you're wearing it, you, you've got to be careful, especially around the campfire. You don't want to catch it on fire, but minor complaint. The other thing, and again, another minor complaint is that it's not form fitting. So if you're wearing it for warmth and you get up and move around, it's, you know, it's a poncho. So it doesn't hold that hot air in if you lift it up and move around. Not a design flaw. That's just how ponchos work. All in all, $70, down-filled, durable, warm, multifunctional. I'm happy with it. If this seems like something that you would find useful, uh, check it out. Look up Get Out Gear. Buy it off their website. Or, like I said, they sell it on Amazon. And, uh, yeah, that's it. We're done here.